previously on Night's Quest. It's not silver, it's better. Maybe we go to Costa Rica and, and we sell it. Or we'd go to Rillian and sell it. So Tanner and I have been talking. We're gonna get married. Are you hiring? <laughs> well, actually, that would be nice. Do you, like, what do you need people to do? Well, I'd probably need a waiter, would be good. And I'm also annoyed with you. A third arm comes out and points <laughs> at Rainer. Yeah, you, because yeah. you're such a nuisance yeah, that I have that? to fucking avoid you all the damn time. Why, because though? All I wanted to ask was, why me? That's what I've been wondering, too. Welcome back to another episode of Night's Quest. It's fresh. Oh my hot, god. Hot off the the presses. Cold. It's cold. Off the, off the self-making sandwich line that we established a while back, where the sandwiches cook oh, themselves. Oh yeah. yeah. At Quiznos. <laughs> hey, let's do some story. So we're moving ahead in time a little bit, uh, but just to help keep things fleshed out, I'm just going to ask you guys some quick questions. Yeah. We won't do any scenes, but just going to ask you some questions on what's going on, just so we can, as we can make sure that everything is... Moving on quickly. So the last thing we Woo-hoo. had, obviously, was with Quiss and Rainer with their incident with Mirjik. Uh, so I guess my first question is, Rainer, do yeah. you continue to try to pursue Mirjik? Do you try to talk to Quiss more about it? Uh, and Quiss, Quiss, would you talk to him? Would you respond? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. He doesn't He doesn't talk about it with Quiss more. He is, he's very disillusioned after that shit happened, particularly when he, like, grabbed his throat and all that shit. Yeah. And he's really frustrated for a couple of reasons. He's frustrated that his big plan failed, and mm-hmm. he's frustrated at himself because he feels like he was kind of a dick to Quiss. Even though Quiss was pretty much fine with it. He was just like, hey, man, you could just ask me. It's no big deal. Rainer still mm-hmm. feels shitty about that because he put this whole crazy uh, secretive plan into motion, and it failed. What he does do, he goes to talk to Leroy uh, because after that whole crazy incident, he basically wants to say, hey, that magical thing you have. What the fuck about I said no scenes? What? You said that? He just wanted a yes or no answer. Yeah. Oh. So we can keep things moving. Well, no, he doesn't talk to Quiss more. He wants to talk to Leroy. Okay. Well, we can get to that later. Eventually. Yeah, we can get to that later. (laughs) Sorry, I didn't realize that's what we were doing. Were you listening, listeners? I was listening. I just don't remember you saying that. All right, I wasn't listening. Quiz, do you continue to work at the shits and giggles? Oh yeah. Are you are you a good boy or a bad boy? (laughs) Yes. Okay. Um, This is going to determine my next. Are you a good boy or a bad boy? Oh, I feel like for the most part I'm a good boy. Okay, you're gonna get paid. Yay! Um, So I'm just gonna say you get ten gold pieces. Sweet. Um, All right. Next question for Jonathan. Night's quest. That's it. Yeah. Get a stable job. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan, uh, do you and Gorg continue to keep mining resources? Oh, absolutely. And obviously last time you guys talked about figuring out a plan to go to Costa Rica yeah. and to really end. Have you guys decided on that or are you still in the yes. planning? No, definitely. Well, that's that's what we're doing. You're planning? Yes. Okay. No, I'm like that we're planning to go to... Okay. Are both of you going or just one? Oh. Ooh. Um, see, it's tough because narratively it would be... <laughs> Really interesting to have a reason to go somewhere. You can just say they haven't decided yet. They have not decided yet. There we go. Can I just can I point out how confusing it is to have Nathan, the literal person, talking to our characters, <laughs> asking like, "What are you going to do?" What's, uh, what's confusing? <laughs> I mean, I definitely do that at the end of every episode. That's, that's true. That is yeah. a thing. Yeah. For those of you who skip that part, you'll be confused. So listen to it. <laughs> I know who you are. How <laughs> dare you? Anyway, I think those were the big questions. So. We're going to move time ahead a little bit, and so I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint a picture with my words. So here we go. Uh, so time continues to move on in Goldon, and things are looking great in Goldon. Obviously, the silver mine is up and running, and the miners have started working there, and silver is just flowing out of the city. This has given Lysander a lot more work to do, you know, repairing uh, mm-hmm. tools, 
And obviously, Taylor and Tanner are busy working on making new clothes. And of course, everyone's excited about their wedding that's going to be coming yeah. up. So the town's getting excited for that and in preparation. That's going to be in a couple of weeks. Other great things that are going on. Obviously, you guys are all able to work and do things. You all have something to do. Rainer, you've been working on music. Your dad actually sure. just came out with a new song. He's calling it The Blue Mine, uh, which is a reference to the emotion that everyone was feeling, but also the literal blue mine and it's mm, it's a it's a hit yeah it's a hit yeah obviously Chris you've been working at the shits and giggles and yeah you know other than a couple other mischievous pranks you've been doing a good job and Mjurgic has actually kind of not been as talkative he hasn't completely like shut out like he'll still talk to you every now and then and if you ask him he'll sometimes respond but it's not like a all day long thing as you guys did originally yeah um so you don't know what that's about yeah it's just kind of like a sometimes you have rough patches and yeah. your friendship with someone yeah. you don't talk to each other you get a little mad you, you try to you, strangle them you, you know apart. yeah yeah just just small Pretty problems a bump in the road <laughs> you guys still haven't seen much of leroy i mean he yeah. hasn't been like he hasn't like he disappeared and so you, sometimes but you, like when you walk past the baker's house there's not like a like a castle that's been built behind it now like he's, <laughs> no okay I will say, whenever anyone goes into the bakery, the bread arrangement of the grains is immaculate. (laughs) It has improved tenfold. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just come in and stare. Yeah. You get entranced. People walk back out of the building, and they feel like they've seen God. Actually, yes. Yeah. That is an experience. Religious experience. The reader is confused. Oh, no. (laughs) Um, He's he's trying to read the bread (laughs) and see if there are words inscribed by the writer. (laughs) So that's been crazy. Uh, but, of course, the biggest development that's made everyone happy is with Noble Mincer. Uh, first of all, he oh, really? accepted your challenge yes! about being more communicative with the oh, war. Oh, hell yeah. And so, basically, he's been keeping you up to date. And Ollie has been receiving messages from the capital and from the, the battle line. So, he's been keeping you up to date with the war. And so, basically, it's still been going on. There hasn't been, like, any major breakthroughs. You have noticed that a lot more militia and knights have been coming through from... Costarine in the south. And actually, a couple of days ago, a uh, noble mincer had to leave and go to Costarine for a big council meeting where all the region heads go. And so everyone was very happy about that. That he left. <laughs> that he left, yeah. Um, honestly, Zajax yeah. left a while ago, um, so he's, he's still not around. Yeah, otherwise, things are, are going great in town. Uh, summer has uh, gotten started. I would like to say that the first episodes kind of took place in like late spring. And so now it's you know June-ish time, maybe July, and whatever would be our time. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's in the in middle of summer, and everyone's just having a good old time. And so they decide to take a day off from work, and the whole town decides to play golf ball. Yeah. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> oh play no, ball. Jake. Oh, no. can you refresh everyone on how the rules of <laughs> golf ball work? Two teams of three stand on opposite sides. Of uh, of a net. A oh, that's a fucking net now. <laughs> well, it's a it's a line. Okay, there's a line. They have to, we yeah, call yeah. it the net. It's very confusing okay, it's to called people the who net. aren't. <laughs> there's no net. It's very confusing to people who aren't from Goldon. Yeah, um, stand on two sides of, a, of an open field. Um, the golf ball, which yep. is slightly bigger than a baseball, but slightly smaller than a softball. Uh-huh. Right. Yep. Golf ball um, sized. Yep. Is passed over the middle line back and forth between the two teams. Points are scored when one team makes it. The, the gorf ball over all three of the opposing players and it lands on the ground before somebody can catch it. However, if the gorf ball lands on the ground without passing over all of the players, the play is ended and the, the last team to have the ball gets a penalty shot in which all three of the opposing team members have to stay at the line before... At the net? Or, at, yes, at the net. At the net. Um, once the ball is put back into play, all three of the opposing team members can rush to catch the ball. So basically the goal of the game... I didn't follow any of The that. strategy is three people on each side... You have a ball, and your goal is to throw it over the other three people. And keep it from touching the ground. But if if you're on defense, you want to catch it, is the goal. And if it drops on the ground either way, that's not good for you. Yeah. If it hits on the ground behind everybody, you get a point. If it hits on the ground in front of everybody, it's a penalty shot. And the penalty shots are pretty easy. Yeah. It's a a balancing mechanic so that you can't just sit. Yeah, just stay in the back line. Yeah. That is Gorf ball. You throw the ball, you catch the ball, and you try to throw it over the heads. So what what we need to do now... Is I'm going to give you guys full creative license right here. Oh, okay. is excellent. Who's on what team? Yes. You have all of Golden to choose because everybody is there. This is one of those things that, like, everyone except Noble Mincer. Right. Because he's, get that fucker out of here. Yep. And Katrina Gorbo, rip. Um, oh. <laughs> in not, peace. She's not, she's not, she's not dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. in pieces. 
make your teams. Who do you think will be on what team? If you want, I can pull oh, up man. the, um, the are, residents are list. Are we just saying there's two teams or are there multiple? Oh, oh there's, 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 there's multiple lot, teams, right? Yeah, like a it's going to be a tournament style. Excellent. Yep. I want to say that um, Jonathan and Lysander are on a team together. <gasps> no way. Um, no way. Please, because, though. Because they are both diehard Gorfball. Like, uh, they're like super heavy oh, like Gorfball sports people. Excellent. So everything gets put aside for the game. Yeah, um, I love it. So they're like super like hardcore like strategists like right. on the side they have plays they've got they've got shirts and jackets. Who's number three though? Who's number three? Number three. Who's uh, the third team they're, member? They're one man down. No, they have to have three. You have to have three. Right, but that's what I'm saying. That's that, that's what they're trying to deal with right oh, now. Okay. They're one man down. That's their conflict. Jeff is gone. Oh, he's. It was gonna be Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Jeff at? Wait, is he still wait, at the mine? Wait, yes. Wait, Jeff runs wait. the silver mine. What about Gorg though? But now they have. But now they have Gorg. <laughs> <laughs> so they're trying to. They're oh, trying that's to, like, excellent. Change their tactics yeah. for this now giant like person that they have on their team, and they they're trying to get Tanner and Taylor to whip together a, a jersey that fits him quickly. Obviously, they they were prepared for this. Yeah, they have it already. Okay, there are two things about Rainer when it comes to golf ball. Rainer loves playing golf ball. He thinks it's awesome. Number two, Rainer is abysmally bad at golf ball. <laughs> He's very, very bad. And I think I think Rainer thinks he has like great instincts of like who should be on my team. In real life, I have no idea if these players are a good choice. The pre the people he chooses for his team are Jerome, if Jerome is willing to play this game. Jerome, of course Jerome's gonna play. Okay, Jerome, and then is Terrence willing to play this game? <laughs> he has no hands! <laughs> Rainer thinks he has yeah, like Rainer thinks he has like this underdog they'll never see it coming strategy, but it's very possible that it's just a terrible decision also, because he has no hands. We'll need team names. Oh, um, oh of course. So what was, what's course. your first team name? Uh, the Goers. Goers. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to be fancy. It's just the, the, goers? the goers. Yeah, the goers. Okay, yeah. Rainer, what's your team name? Oh boy, it is a Final Fantasy X reference, but oh okay. I, I actually didn't uh, remember that. It's been a while. Okay, you think on your team yeah. name. Meanwhile, we've got Chris. Chris needs a team. Unless you think he, he would, you think he'd just watch. You think he'd be think boring Chris, and lame. I think, I, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What'd you say? Be Whoa. Boring and lame and not oh, okay. play. I think Chris, like for years, has like not been good at it, and so like he'll play, but he's not like he's not jazzed about it. So I, I suppose yeah, he would play. Okay. Who do you think dragged him onto their team? Because he probably didn't start it. He got, like, recruited. Oh, boy. Do you think uh, maybe Burnrust was like, come on, cousin, let's let's play? Yes. Burnrust? I hadn't even considered that. So, Quiz Burnrust, and then it would have to be somebody who, who A, would be confident enough to play for the Lord of the Town, um, and B, somebody that would, like, know the two of them. But Jerome's already on another team. Yeah. Uh, would it? Oh shit. Or or would it be Salazar? <laughs> the that self, the that is the question I really wanted to bring up while you were doing your time passes. I really wanted to be like, but what about Salazar though? Does, is is Salazar like the self-established team captain? Like, no, he has. Um, he's not, not been great. Like it's, where we left him, it's very possible that he's left. He's no, he's waiting okay. for Grog to yeah to go oh, down to country. Right. He's going to go with about them. That. Yep. Yeah. Gonna head down with them, but you guys have like kept pushing it off, yeah. and so he's like, "Are we going yet?" And Grog responds, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Same Good voice, talk. weird. Um, <laughs> Do you think Quiz uh, wants Leroy on their team? No, the Bakers are their own team. Oh yeah, shit! Okay. A family team. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And so all they're right. obviously the Bakers. They're just they're the Bakers. Yeah. Um, I've thought of a, a team name, by the way. Or would, oh. would they be the Breadwinners? Oh hell oh, yeah! Oh, oh, never oh, mind. Oh, yeah, oh, no for sure. Boy. The breadwinners. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. uh, boy. Well, what was your team name, Rainer? Rainer mistakenly thought that all of the teams were going to be like color based, so there's going to be all of these different cool creative names, and then just the blue team. Blue team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And and people think it's like a reference to how the mind turned blue yeah. and stuff. Oh my god! Rainer honestly thought that everyone was going to be like the red team, the orange team, and that didn't happen. So now they're just the blue team for no reason. I love it. I love this team so much. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> Is there anybody in town who's like really cool and just good at everything? Oh shit! Fucking. Tanner. What about the reader? Oh, the, I mean, everyone's you guys playing. could have the. Everyone's playing. <sighs> You Oliver's guys, on the team. you guys, wait, wait, wait. 
there is a blind man who hangs out in the library and tries to read books <gasps> right. in Braille. That's right. Oh, my God. That guy. Okay, him and the reader have to be on the team. Him and the reader. And I think the, the reader has... Oh, no, he doesn't have, like, an assistant. It's a smaller town. The butcher. Fuck it. Yeah! The butcher. The butcher yeah. who makes animal sounds. But, like, is there anybody in town that's just... Well, Tanner. Yeah, I, I feel like... Maybe one of the reasons that Quiss is, like, constantly not feeling great about playing the game is because there's somebody on his team who's just, like, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And obviously, <laughs> Burn Russ got, like, first pick, and he's like, uh, Tanner. Yeah, Burn Russ is like, I'm oh. the Lord, and I choose Young Buck Tanner. <laughs> what team do they have? Uh, they when are... They first, with the first pick... Of the of the year of the dragon gold on draft. <laughs> yeah, what is the what what year is this? What are we in? Uh, it is the year. Stop. Do you have a whole year naming system? Stop. No, it's just year twenty forty one. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. okay. In the future. Uh, hmm. the readers team. He definitely. I mean, he was the one who who started it. So they're just <laughs> the heroes. <laughs> oh, excellent. How does uh how does Leroy feel about that? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> that name almost got like disqualified for blasphemy, but then they decided it was okay. No, it's the reader who picked it. And he, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "We're all of us could be the hero," <laughs> and so we are. <laughs> yeah. A couple other teams. Obviously, there's the B family. Um, so they called themselves oh, the Stingers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Quincy and his parents are the Nivens, along with Frank. Yes! Oh, perfect! So, Lyra, Frank, and Mr. Nivens. <laughs> Does he not have a first name yet? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. His first name is Mr. Yeah, of course. I mean, it could be. Does um, he see this tournament as a way to get back at Quiz for all of the ridiculous employee shenanigans? You don't know. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Their team name, they just, they just call themselves the Shiggles. Oh my god. Mix of shits and giggles. Hey. <laughs> That's the worst word. Um, burn, burn the worst shiggles. word I've ever shiggles. heard. Shiggles. Burn Rust team are the Finges. Oh, Jake, what is a Finge? Should we, should we describe that? Um, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> All right, it's time. The ancient Finge is a, a mythical creature. I don't know about you guys, but I believe in the ancient Finge. I believe. In All the right, ancient Finge. we have a confession, everyone. We're gonna let you in on a, on a secret. Yeah. Long time ago, <laughs> when we were reading the original book of Night's Quest that I right. wrote with my buddy in high school, if y'all recall that. There was a creature we made up called the Ancient Finge. Um, <laughs> it was pretty stupid. I'll be real. Uh, it was just a. It's like a big. All right. First of all, you can hold your tongue, sir, because okay. it was awesome. It's actually pretty rad. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Here, here's the description of the Ancient Finge. Uh, it's a giant lizard monster. It is longer than twenty feet. The limbs, the size of trees. It has glowing eyes like lanterns. It has teeth longer than swords, and it can knock a man out in a single blow. Destroyed a whole village once, and it's basically just, it's no bueno, no good. Yeah. I also like the idea that it kind of has cryptid status in this yeah. world. Like, some people don't think it's real at all. Some people swear they've seen it. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And so, do you believe in the ancient finch? I believe in the ancient finch. Will we meet the ancient finch in the game? Oh, shit. Maybe oh, it shit. might never happen again. Maybe. Mm -hmm. It is believed to be on the island of, of Lyston, which we have not traveled to. So, but finches. Um, so we've got a, a handful of teams now. We got one, we two, do. three, four, five, six, seven. I want one more just so we have a full bracket so we can actually turn you this uh, crap out. We already used Lysander, right? Do you think your dad would play? Oh. Or would he would he play like like, ga it, like game music? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think Mr. and Mrs. Barkley are going to play with Oliver. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> what would their name be? I don't think we've established very much about Mr. and Mrs. Barkley other than the fact that, like, they, they have, have chicken like, farmers and their kids die. Yeah, they have a dead child, unfortunately. Okay, I, the chicken farmers thing, though, we could work with that. Um, um, and the cabbages. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Chicken salad? Chef salad? So that's chef what a chef salad, salad is, a salad yeah. of meat. Chef salad. All right, and we're going we're gonna to have ourselves a quick gorf ball. Tourney. Woohoo! Have you already made a bracket? <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I'm making right now. This yes, I scratch, 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 scratch. Yes, I have. The bracket. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and one last quick thing. I'm going to give every single player on your team a score from negative two to plus two on their actual Gorf Ball skills. Oh, excellent. And then we'll add that to a dice roll to see yes, who okay. wins the game. Um, excellent. So we're going to do that right now. 
I'll clap my hands and we'll have done all the numbers and so you don't have to hear all that garbage. Woohoo! Okay. We're well, back! Well, wow! Well, uh, a couple of things we developed you might like. <laughs> Mrs. Baker and Mrs. Barkley used to play on a team together, so they're both pretty good. Terrence is the only negative three score because he has no hands. <laughs> and Tanner is the only positive three score because he's dope. Is yeah. This, <laughs> is us using Terrence for so many jokes like wildly offensive? Or is it the greatest thing we've ever thought of? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anyone who has no hands. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah. If that's you, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not making fun of you. We're making fun of Terrence. Cork ball is an inclusive sport. Anybody can play golf ball. Anyone can play. We yeah. have a blind guy and a guy with no hands. Yeah. Chase your dreams. <laughs> I think we also have Bjorn Bjornsson yeah. and um, Taylor, our yeah. commentators. Like from the sidelines. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, everyone, welcome. Oh, my God. To the... 2041 Wolfo Goldon Tournament. I'm one of your hosts, Bjorn Bjornsson, and I'm your other host, Taylor. <laughs> the Taylor. <laughs> now we got ourselves, it's a beautiful day out here, oh Bjorn. And we got eight wonderful teams competing against each other. Who are they talking to? Everyone's at the game. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, well, we're about to get this thing started, Taylor. Uh, it's a wonderful day. And our first. Game is going to be against the Goas versus the Chef Salad. Now, the Goas, they have it stacked up against themselves with Lysander Jonathan obviously putting the differences aside to just beat other people. And Grog, he's a new guy. We don't know. Yes, and the Chef Salad, uh, mainly the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Barkley, uh, they, they had Oliver join them. Usually, they would have one of their sons play with them. But um, Well, anyway, uh, so here's how this is going to work. Well, I guess she wouldn't say this. Both teams are going to roll dice. They're going to add all the modifiers to it, and whoever gets the highest one is going to win. That's, okay. that's all there is to it. So, uh, Jonathan, you will roll a d20, yeah. and you will add uh, a total of five, and I will add oh. negative one. Okay. That thing you said was so awful and sad and terrible that it didn't hit me until like a full 30 seconds later <laughs> because I was looking at my phone. So when I went back and like realized what you said, I was like, "Oh my god!" But it was so far away that I couldn't. That like it would be awkward to respond. We to We make it. humor about death. Okay. Yeah. All right, here they go. The teams are lining up. Real and quick, like Jonathan and Lysander like had a quick like powwow before the game, and since like they haven't had time to practice with Grog, they just told Grog like, "Hey, basically, we got a bunch of moves already figured out." Uh, go where we're not. Just try and cover as much empty space as you can. Right, okay. We'll take care of the. We'll take care of the fancy no, I've, shit. No, I've seen I've seen Gorf ball before. I've oh, seen it. Great. Just don't let the ball touch the ground. You got right, this. Got it. Yep. Catching hands. Right. Yes. Is this right. a sport in other cities too? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not okay. just gold. Right. Is there I professional like golf ball? <gasps> Is there golf ball championships? Oh shit. Maybe. Let's play though. Let's play right now. Let's play right now. All right. Here we go. Roll them dice. Okay. I got a total of seven. Ten. All right, Ooh. and it seems that the Goas have a great strategy here. Uh, Lysander and Jonathan seem to be uh, controlling that field. They got that good layout, and Grog holding up the center. Jonathan just yells out, "Hammer and tongs!" And like, oh my god! In, in like unison, they go to opposite sides of the field, and right. like, yeah, that's and, amazing. And unfortunately, uh, the age seems to be getting to Oliver. He's a wise man, oh. but he is too oh, old for terrible. this game. Uh, wow, that that's a little rude to say, Bjorn, yeah. but. You're kind of correct. Oh. All right, let's move on to the next match. Oh, my goodness. Up next, we're going to have the breadwinners versus the heroes. <laughs> the Baker family versus some people that the reader scrambled up together. Breadwinners add two. And the heroes oh add my goodness. negative two. Good Lord. So it was three, a really big difference, Three versus 19. Yep. So it seems that the breadwinners, wow, they, that family unity seems to be working out. You know, I love my son. Can't wait to see him play. But man, <laughs> we got nothing on them bakers. Yeah, but I that, wish Leroy was my son instead. <laughs> which is not the first time I've said that in this podcast. <laughs> Yeah, it seems it seems that the the people that the readers uh, scrapped oh, together, no. uh, one of them is blind, and one of them <laughs> only makes animal sounds, so communication Wee, was very poor. Wee. So yeah, they they lost. They didn't get oh, any that's points. Terrible. All right, moving. Oh, I feel bad. Moving on. Don't feel bad. Is is uh, is John? 
<laughs> is Jonathan's match over as well? Jonathan, okay. Jonathan, and Lysander are like like jogging around the field <laughs> to stay like, fresh, keeping their heart rate. Oh my up. god! Stay, Actually, Leroy Leroy runs around and he goes, "Gotta stay fresh." Fresh. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, we're gonna have the Finges versus the Shiggles. What kind of name is that? He's like well, squinting at the paper, like maybe he read it wrong. <laughs> no, that says Shiggles. The Shigleys? Did I did I accidentally say something offensive? <laughs> is right, that Chris, a racial slur? <laughs> Quiz, this one's your team, and then of course you're playing against your other coworkers. Right. Um, does Quiz care about that? Because Mr. Nivens does. <laughs> I, think, I think maybe I think maybe Quist like walks up to Mr. Nivens before the game starts and just says like, "If you don't let me win, I'm going to take it as a sign of workplace aggression." <laughs> oh my god! And I will have to get the union involved. Uh, Quist, you know there's no union. We've talked about this. <laughs> I'm cousins with the Lord of Ten. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> well, let's roll. Let's. I mean, you got. You'll add two, yep. and I will um, add nothing. Okay. I got an eleven. I got ten. Ooh. Oh, this game. Did we go into overtime? No, because my hi- my number's higher than yours. Oh man. Quiz okay. loses. Damn. Again. <laughs> Burn Rust is very upset. Although this could be a good thing because now Quiz is definitely gonna sue. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and it looks like the Finges with their uh, all-star team of Tanner and uh, some other people are playing, and it's <laughs> man, there's an attractive team, and I don't think they're gonna they're gonna lose. You know, I think you might be a little biased in this match. I Just think a little bit. you will be biased when your son plays, so I think that's only fair. <laughs> yeah, got a good point. And uh, well, it was a close game, that's for sure. Tanner put up a good fight. Mr. Nivens seemed to be really having it out against Quiz, being as aggressive as he could without getting a penalty. It's a non-contact sport. <laughs> yeah, you're on different sides of the net. <laughs> you can just tell him the no way he way. throws it. The way he throws it, he's got some anger. Just spikes it at Quiz. <laughs> Quiz definitely took a couple to the head there. Oh no! And Jeez. Some, but somehow the Shiggles still won. Oof. Yeah, I. I'm not gonna feel great if the uh, if the end result of this tournament is a team called the Shiggles winning <laughs> the grand championship. Uh, next game is the blue team. Oh, here we go versus the Stingers. I just want to say one thing quick. Have you guys ever played a video game and like you have to switch, you have to choose a character and they all have different stats? Yeah. But then there's like one character where all of the stats are just worse, and you're like, why are they in there? Why would I ever choose that? That's the blue team. Yeah, they're currently... it's not. It's not gonna go well for the right. blue team. Rainer, you'll yep. roll. You'll do negative five. Uh huh. And the Stingers are plus four. So, Hell yeah. So you're, so you're ice climbers then. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? I'm the Jigglypuff Let's of roll. Night's Quest. Jigglypuff is insane. In the Jig- oh, it can be good. Oh. Negative two as your total number. I rolled a three and I subtract five, so and I at, got. Yeah, you're negative two I got versus negative seven. Two. Well, it looks like. Uh, oh, go, son. Oh, oh, son. Oh, no. Oh, son. You're not even. Something, you're on the wrong side, son. <laughs> something somehow went wrong before they even started playing. Let's just say, Terrence. Yep. Was really excited to play. Hey, fuck you guys. <laughs> really eager. Um, but it seems that he is literally unable to play in any way other than the just having <laughs> the ball thrown over him. Um, but otherwise he cannot. Rainer, uh, also. Guys, don't worry. I have a secret plan. They're not going to. Oh, oh, shit. It's over. Oh. My son, he's got a lot of hot. That was really That's quick. About it. I didn't consider that it would end that quickly. <laughs> Quincy seems pretty excited. <laughs> oh, my God. Did we win? <laughs> yes, you did, Quincy. Yes, you did. <laughs> Does he say, oh my god, before literally everything he says? <laughs> That's all we got so far, so yeah. He might. Um, Alright, now we're moving into the semifinals. The goers versus the breadwinners. <laughs> I think maybe Jonathan walks up and like like extends his hand for a handshake towards uh, towards Leroy. And like, no odd feelings, bub. <laughs> Leroy just stares at the hand and he goes, this is for blood. Oh my god. Not physical blood, like just like familial ties. Like I'm fighting for my family. Like, I don't oh, want to kill, that, I that kill you. Blood. That came right. out really... T- I've been I've been inside a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I think maybe Jonathan like kind of steps back a little bit and he like shows him like his open palm and he had like a little joy buzz in there. He's like smart move, kid. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, it's on. All right, yeah. roll them dice. You get plus five. I get plus two. Oh damn! Ooh. I got an eleven total. Damn. 24. So the oh, breadwinners oh, 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 oh. bread are coming off hot off of their last game. Uh, oh, but it seems that Grog now is learning what all of the plays are. And oh my goodness. I have not seen anyone get beaten 
uh, oh this boy. badly in a long time. Not since the blue team played. Yeah, that's <laughs> just ten, blue team. Yeah, <laughs> ten minutes ago. A few moments ago. Um, Not since wow. Rainer tried to jump over Jerome's head and ended up <laughs> crashing into the other members of his own team. <laughs> How does Jerome feel? I need a line from Jerome. I think Jerome. I think Jerome's really into the game, and so he's like, <laughs> oh, no. like, 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 fist on the ground. Like, how would you possibly have done this? I had so many. This, this was my year. To oh no! <laughs> and Raiders is like, Raiders just like outside of the field already. He tumbled that far, and he's just like, oh shit, you guys, I'm really sorry. That I, didn't go. I that think, didn't go the way I thought it was going to. I think to. you've shattered my coccyx. Oh no, God! So the goers, the goers will move on. It's now time for the other semifinal round of the Shiggles. I still, am I, I think I'm, I'm offending someone. <laughs> and the Stingers. All right, and then I'll be rolling both of those. Oh, um, Jerome, we do have a healer in this town, and she is the only person who isn't here, so she's still working today. So you can yeah, go she's... <laughs> make sure you haven't broken your tailbone. No, she's here. She's here. Oh, she's, she's here. She's, okay, on, okay. she's okay. on the she's sidelines. Like oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> she's already doing it. And I think she, like, looks at you... And like your ocarina, yeah. and like he has a healing spell. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I think maybe. I think maybe as she's tending to Jerome. And well, Jer- Jerome. I wasn't. I didn't have my ocarina around let me my say, neck let me say, during let me the say. game. Jerome's still like on the ground, like grumbling, like not even about the pain, but just like I, I've multiple times I've been put on a different team. Oh no. <laughs> and and the healer's just like, well, it certainly doesn't seem like there's much team spirit going on. Uh, Rainer, what does that thing around your neck actually do? Oh, you know, it's, uh, well, it's cool, kind of, because I learned a couple of songs that, fuck, and then he runs over to Jerome, because he just thought And then he's it. like, no, I don't want your help, get away from me. Oh, okay, God. Meanwhile, we got a I game going sorry. on. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Stingers. Seems yeah. pretty lopsided. Plus four, so that's an eight. And Shiggles are still 14. So the Shiggles move on. The Shiggles Damn move it. on. I don't want them to win. I'm not a fan. All right, well, that game was uh, another close one, but of course... The employees of Shits and Giggles minus Quiz uh, Shiggles. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it now. I finally understand the name. Oh, well, they won. Yeah, what do you want for me? You want me to describe it? That's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a pretty straightforward game. It's at this time that they kind of take, everyone takes an intermission, like a, a lunch break. Uh, everyone's, everyone's, you know, preparing for the final game of the Goers oh, versus the Shiggles. Hold up. I thought of this a little bit ago, but I didn't know how to impl- in- implement it. Does... Bjorn Bjornsson play some music during this intermission. Oh, for sure. Okay, then I think because it's a high energy sports thing, he plays it on the ocarina that we described way, like a few episodes ago that has like multiple oh, crazy. Oh, hell no. The rock arena. The rock arena. Makes its appearance. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And Bjorn plays. <laughs> he critically failed. <laughs> The rock arena falls to pieces. Oh no! No! Crushed under its own weight. Oh no! He like Rainer is like as distraught about that as he was when his team well, failed horribly. You know that was my first time using it, and the last. Oh my god, Dad! The I'm rock so arena sorry. was no, it's okay, son. When you experiment with art, sometimes the art experiments with your heart. Wow. Think about I'm, that. He's like writing that yeah. like, in yeah, like that, a lyric book. That's my next song right yeah. there. <laughs> that's a good I mean, one. the syllables could use some work, but you know, we'll we'll, we'll work on it. it. It's all good. We'll yeah. workshop it tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But it's at this time. Uh, Quiz, as you are, it's kind of chilling. I'm assuming you know you, you never really cared that much at the beginning. Leroy, oh, approaches you. Hey, Quiz. Uh, sorry about the about your game. Sorry about the <laughs> lot you're losing. I mean, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of expected at this point, so I, I can't say I'm too disappointed. Leroy's team is out at this point, too, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah games. Uh, actually, I <laughs> I came to talk to you specifically right now. Um, I have a request. Can I, can I ask you something, my friend? No. Yes. What? Like, of did course you, you can. Did you? And you need to be honest with me. Did you stress it that way to make it sound like request? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> Maybe That's what it sounded like. Unconsciously. <laughs> Chris, um, I need your magic ring. Well, this oh. is twice in the same month. Give me two minutes. And he goes over to uh, the, the Shiggles like, bench where they're all hanging out. Oh, yeah. And he, he's standing like right in front of Mr. Nivens. Mm-hmm. And what? he looks up and behind them and he just yells, Oh my goodness, it's another, it's another blue meteor. Look at it. <laughs> and then while they're turned around, he like loosens the shoelaces on Mr. Nivens' shoes a little bit and then walks back. <laughs> Hold on. Quiz. 
Roll for pranking. Oh, do I get any more hey? pranking? Like, no. I don't have any pranking right now. We're going to give you... You got a pranking stat. And you can, you can you're only one. at... I think Chris is Here's only at, like, plus any. one right now. He's new to the pranking game. 14. Okay. Yeah. No. Mr. Nivens is... He's wise to your tricks. Oh. So he doesn't turn. He's like... 14 wasn't enough? No. Damn. No. Mr. And, Nivens. Uh, he's, he's, he's... Stone cold. I, I need to start... I had a number in my head, and he didn't beat it. <laughs> and he goes... Chris, I ain't falling for that again. You've done it, done it twice. I ain't gonna let you loosen my shoelaces again like that. Now get, now get out of here. I don't think you understand that we're I can fire we're, you. We're We're coming up with our with our final gameplay strategy. So please go on, get. Okay, oh, but, so I'm literally your boss. Okay, but he he stands there for like a few seconds, just lingering and not saying anything. And then he gives him like a really light, like a really light, just like slap on the cheek. <laughs> on the <laughs> cheek. On the cheek. Just, on the cheek. Just a really light slap on the cheek, just for no, just like, what? and then runs away. <laughs> you know, I'm I can tolerate that. It's, okay. it's better than an omelet. Le- Leroy is following you. He's like, hey, but can I have it though? Oh, I figured I figured he was waiting while I was doing. I didn't realize he was behind me the whole time. <laughs> no, I guess um, I think he he let you leave and then he. Like, if you didn't come back, he... Oh, I gotcha. He's uh, pursuing you. I mean, I'll take an... Like, if you won't, I just need an answer. But, like, I would like it. Well, I mean, I don't think I was ever told I can't... Hold on. Give it... Uh, roll, um, and then he, like, holds, oh holds my God. up, like, the thumb and the mm-hmm. pinky. <laughs> We're doing this again. <laughs> he's like, um, no dick? Hello? No response. Oh. No response. Well... No news is good news? I think he, like, <laughs> he, like slowly takes it off and, like, holds it for a second. And he, he like yeah. extends it like yeah. towards Leroy's outstretched hand. You what see the the, uh, the the amulet of chance is still around uh, Leroy's neck. And he like lowers it and like places yeah. it in yeah. his hand, yeah. still yeah. holding yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Oh my god, one condition." Anything, man? Yeah, what, what's up? I have to come with you. I can't let the ring out of my sight. Hmm. <laughs> and he starts to like take the ring back. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. I'm thinking. Let me think. Let me think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> You're being ex- Could you like plug your ears? You're being exceptionally weird today, Leroy. <laughs> like when I use it. Why? If you want him to disclose, Chris would have to use a friendship point. Okay, sure. Huh. All right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, you're my friend. Okay. Yeah, we find it. Um, I, I want to talk to Mirjik about some stuff. Well, I mean, we both talked to him before. You could have just asked. What I is know. it with people lately? I don't know. <laughs> Seems like access to an all-powerful spirit. You need, like, permission or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like we've both been there and talked to him before. Well, that's why I asked if I could have the ring so I could talk to him about some uh, family stuff. I mean, he hasn't been very talkative lately, but, like, why Why can't Why can't I hear it? I guess, I guess you can hear. You're, you're cool. I guess you can hear. I mean, judging by today, that's not true, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so he hands over the ring. Nice. Thanks, Chris. And he, he clutches it in his hands, kind of like holds it up, and he's like, hmm, get some answers soon. I'm pretty sure you have to, like, put it on, like, a finger, though. I don't think it works just holding it. We can do it right now? I don't know. I kind of assumed he was going to, honestly. Do you need, like, candles and... <laughs> a pentagram? I don't know. You're the one who does this, so you just, you just put it on and talk? I mean, that's worked for me. Sometimes. <laughs> Rainer, you said you had wanted to talk to Leroy? I did. You can talk to him now. Okay. He's right there with, with Quiz. Yeah. He says, hey, Leroy, I was, um, I hadn't been able to talk to you in a while. I was hoping I could, uh... Oh, yes, all right, man. Yeah, was... like, have you been doing okay? I didn't, like, nobody's seen you in a while. Yeah, no, it's just my parents have been, uh... Well, ever since I got back home, they realized, yeah. you know, I'm like... I've been learning a lot of family trade. Yeah. But they wanted to make sure they could, like, pass down every single tradition that we have. And so I've been, it's been yeah. a lot of training, a lot of learning... About family stuff, and okay. so I just—it's been a lot. I've been a lot, very busy. Yeah, I can I can respect that. So, um, I didn't want to. I didn't mean to be rude. No, for like, sure. shut you guys out. No, 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 not at all. I just wanted yeah. to make sure you were doing okay. I I just got to tell you something before I forget. I think you should be careful with that amulet, because I remember you guys saying that it's sort of connected to the Mirjik spirit. I think I'm pronouncing that right. He gives you a thumbs up with the ring on it. And yeah, he, that's yeah. The one. And Rainer's like, yeah. I kind of had like a little bit of a falling out with him recently, and I think he's a little more uh, dangerous and kind of crazy and and volatile than we. And like just well, then, his brain catches up to the fact that Leroy is wearing the ring, and he's just like, "Ooh boy, we're about to go talk to him right now." Okay, do you have like? And I think he kind of breaks off into muttering. He's like, 
Is there like a is there like a like a head piece of is there like a neck piece of armor that someone could use to No, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe you could like There is a there, neck armor. It's called a, a coif. A coif. Yes. That's a great idea. You know what? I think maybe I'm going to write that down and Rainer writes that down and he's like maybe that's maybe that'd be a good thing for a couple of different people to have. Anyway, I'm just saying be careful. Um Oh Oh, I get what you're saying. No, I get it. No. He he is not a fan of me or Quiss if past actions are anything to go on. So just like be careful. I think he's a little unstable. Oh well, I just oh, roll to see how he's feeling. Oh shit! And the ring starts to glow. And Quiss, you recognize the the, the wispies. When Rainer sees the wispies, I think he just mutters under his breath again. Oh, burn the books. <laughs> He hasn't said that a lot That's in def- his life, but he's saying it a lot recently. That's definitely my favorite insult we've had so far. Thank you. And all of a sudden, you're there. You are at Mirjik's castle. Now, when you say you, who exactly are you referring to? All three of you. Oh, shit! Are all three of us there together, or are all three of us separately there? You're all there together. To here, the other- Again, like okay. the same distance from how you were standing before, but now you are in the uh, Straw Castle Courtyard with the orange sky, the eclipsed sun... And the wispy straw everywhere. Okay, the thing almost happens, and Rainer's like, ah, ah, and then he stops and he's just like, nope, you know what? (sighs) I'm here. I'm not supposed to be here. I have been teleported. It's fine. And he's just like staring directly at the ground and not looking around him, and he's just like, it's fine. I'm fine. Hey, Rain, remember that one time we told you we teleported and you didn't believe us? Uh Uh-huh. Well, fuck you. Yep, fuck me. Here you can teleport people. I thought come on, I wasn't come on. okay. Let's yep. go. Quiz is already like halfway towards the door. I wasn't allowed to be here. Qu- Quiz is like halfway towards the door. Is like, guys, you wanted to, you wanted to come. Like, wh- why are you? Yeah, around? no, let's go. Let's go. I want to talk to him. Let's go. Rain, are you coming? Yep. Uh huh. And way. he like moves his feet very slowly. Like he's not sure if he's gonna fall through the ground or if he's gonna suddenly teleport somewhere else. Or like nothing makes sense. But he eventually does follow them. All right, you walk into the straw throne room with the pillars of moving straw on the sides, and there is Mirajik hovering above his throne as usual. Seems kind of pointless to have a throne. <laughs> if he does, if he's always hovering perpetually above. <laughs> but I mean, he's a chaos god. Yeah, yeah. I think he's juggling with with two of his oh, hands yeah. on his on his right side. One of them on his left is is picking his teeth. And then the other one is... For what? Like, what did he eat that he would have something straw, in his teeth? Straw spaghetti, obviously. That's true, he does eat that. <laughs> We've established this. Spaghetti. I'm just going to go with the number that I had rolled beforehand with how he's feeling. And he goes, A wizard, a baker, and a bard walk into a castle. That's it, I haven't finished the joke yet, but that's the start. And it's going to be real good. Welcome. Uh, hey, um, Mr. Mrs. Mirjik... Cal, thanks for meeting with us. Chris, how do you normally start a conversation with this dude? Um, usually he starts it with me, and he goes over, and he's there's there's like a little like there's like a little straw stool that's like Chris's area that he just, yeah, yeah he just like sits down. He's like I don't like know. a spot. I don't know. Just talk to him, I guess. Oh, he's just chill. Oh, Rainer, this is Mirjik, by the way. Hello, Rainer. Rainer hasn't said anything yet, Hello. and he's like shaking a little bit. You look about as shook as a town of gold on after an explosion. <laughs> I, I think I think Quiz like looks up. He's like, "Is is that is that very shook or very shook?" Ah. It, was, it was a metaphor and oh. a joke. I, mm, it was one of those things. Quiz, we've been over this. <laughs> Roll another d twenty for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you guys are here. Actually, I know you want to say some stuff, and we'll get to that. Or should we start with that? I don't know. Rainer, you pick. Should I talk first or should he talk first? It's quiet for a few seconds. No, I got that. (laughs) And then everything, everything is like just a continuous string of words. And Rainer's like, so it was you? It was your amulet the whole time? You were the one who said all the information to everybody in Hidgety? You said I couldn't come here, but then you were saying that I'm supposed to be the one who did something. But I didn't understand because you were saying, oh, Rainer can't hear about that. I'm going to get in trouble with you-know-who. And I was like, oh, I didn't know who that was. But I wanted to know more about that, but then you tried to strangle my throat. And you were the one who was causing all the shit to happen in Hidgety. And there was like these secret items that Chris was talking about and Leroy was talking about. And there was some crazy Mm -hmm. thing with these cow paintings. And that was you, right? You were the cow in the paintings. And I was looking at those paintings and I didn't understand what was going on. 
down. You, you can you. talk to the writer, but then there's something about talking to we'll other people, it. talking to the writer. They're like, yeah, magical visions. It. And you we're, were the one. People could talk to spirits, yeah. and spirits could talk to the writer, so people can talk to the yes. writer. And I was trying to figure That's all you. that out. But then when I tried That's to get me. a hold of you, and I tried to trick Quist, I'm sorry, Quist, I feel really bad about that. But then there was this whole thing where you reached out of the ring, and you that. put the ring on your own arm, and that was super fucking weird. And then you tried to strangle me. What the fuck? You finished? I think so, yeah. All right, I've, I've, made, I've made up my mind. I'm going to talk first. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's what, what's going to happen. Roll a d20. 15. You stupid ass. Un-understanding moron of a human. Can I say that? I am, and I did. Y'all are worthless. And I'm going to tell you how this is going to go down. Okay? Sounds good. My name is Mirjik. I'm the god of chaos, of randomness, of chance. And if you're going to try and, like, describe me and, like, what I do into, like, a box, fuck you. That's your first mistake, boy. If you think I have a motive and objective, fuck you again. That was your other mistake. Now, I'm in a generous mood right now. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to roll another d20. Maybe he just feels <laughs> more generous after this one. Mm, now I feel a little bit better, though. <laughs> you see, uh, you're stupid. But you're cute stupid. So here's how this is. Yes, you're right. Those are my magic things. <clears throat> Mirjik things. That's my amulet. I did choke you. It was sexy. Sorry, can I say that? I think I think his face actually goes white at that one, and he just, like, can't make sounds. He's just like... <laughs> okay. Mm. Every, every time. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Every time, every time Mirjik says, can I say that? Is he, like, looking to Quiz for, like... <laughs> yeah, he is. He's like, can I say that? Yeah. And Quiz is like... Oh God, like, why, what are you asking me for? I'm not like the people. Anyway, uh, I'm glad y'all are here. All three of you cute munchkins. Especially you, Quiz. You're my favorite. I recently... What? <laughs> I, I want to sh- share a little bit of my stuff with you because, you know, I've been alone for so long and ever since Quiz showed up and then Leroy, you came along and, well, I just like talking now. It's more fun than being all secret secret. So I recently got a note uh, a memo, a message, a command from my boss, from my employer, from my warden. These were very different things. Uh, I would agree. Well, I want to share it with you. Can I do that, Quiz? I want to do it. Quiz, roll a d20. I think Quiz, every time he like opens his mouth to say something, it is immediately... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mirjik opens up two of his hands, and the wisps around form a scroll that unravels as he pulls apart his hands. He's like... Uh-huh. <clears throat> I'm going to read this. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm going to because I'm magic. <laughs> and um, let me read the whole fucking thing. Uh-huh. And then you can do your thing afterwards, okay? All right, cool. <laughs> Dear Mirjik, that's me. I have been getting bored lately. The story has kind of lost its direction. Now, normally, this would be the part where I ask you to do your Mirjik thing and to spice things up with a bit of randomness. And normally that's been working. The Blue Mountain was cool. I like that. (laughs) But the main thing I noticed is the plot has lost its direction. There's no motives. There's no conflict. And honestly, that bores me. So I'm sending this message to you and to the others to make sure that we can get this story on track. And mainly... I need Rainer to do something. You know, that's kind of why we're doing all this. And if he doesn't do something interesting soon, then I will have to intervene. And you all know how much I dislike that. And I'll be left with one of two choices. I'm either going to have to give Rainer a reason why he can never come back to Goldon, or I'm going to reintroduce an old foe. Again, I don't want to, but those are my backups. So, use your magic ways to make sure that this story keeps on moving. Otherwise, in about a week, I'm going to do something. He closes his hands and the scroll disappears. So, I got that about a week ago. Um, <laughs> and, honestly, I've been trying to waffle what I'm going to do. I've been, you know, changing my mind back and forth as I do. <laughs> Roll a d20, Jamie. Yeah. But then, I finally landed on... Deciding when all three of you were scrambling to talk to me, and mm, you know how much I love that. Don't I, Quiz? I, I, 
Do you know I do. Mm. Mm. We'll talk later. Why do you ask me if you don't care? So I just decided about a few minutes ago. I was going to tell you three sexy hunks of meats uh, what this thing said. And, uh, well, I have no plan after that. Uh, so, yeah, that you can now freak out. I think, there, once again, it's just another couple seconds of silence. And Rainer is shaking again. And he looks, from Mirjik, he looks to Leroy and Quiz for a second. And he looks back at Mirjik. And he says, You waste of Ink! What is wrong with you? You want to make the story more interesting? Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to cut you off right there. This was a note written... I was to referring me. to both of you. What is wrong? What? He's so furious at this point. He's like, not when we almost died. Not when we were trying to take down a gang of criminals. Not when we went down into a mine because apparently life just wasn't interesting enough for you two freaks. And he's so mad he doesn't even care that he's just saying some like really blasphemous shit right now. He's like, not any of those times. No. Very blasphemous. When we're, when we're playing a game of gorf ball, that's when you decide to drop this on us and say, hey, your lives aren't quite fun enough for our little spectator arena. What is wrong with you? This new you tiny little fuck. I think, right? I think, I'm gonna tell you what to do. I think Quest is on a stool just like... <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You think you can understand the bigger picture that's going on here? Yeah, it's boring as hell. And the whole point is to make it interesting. And now, listen, I ain't a fan of his motives. I ain't a fan of writing these petty notes to me, motherfucker. But you have a job to do, whether you know it or not. Oh, I have a job to do. I have a job to do. That's Who right. was it that decided I couldn't learn anything? Everyone could know it the information my except me. Not me. Rainer, Rainer in like me. a moment of impulsiveness, takes off his shirt. And he's like, I could have died. And he points to the scar. I could have died. How would your precious job for me work out then, huh? we we'll pick another one. You'd pick another person? I mean, I wouldn't. That's not my thing. But that's besides the point, Rainer. And all of a sudden, I'm going to roll this, see how it feels now. Okay. All of a sudden, these, all the wisps had been kind of like a gold straw color. They all start turning like a darker red. And the mist, like the light, like it seems like that eclipse yeah, actually yeah. starts taking effect. And Mirjik leans in close, and Rainer, you can no longer see Leroy or Quiss. And Mirjik leans in, and he's got smoke fuming out of his out of his nose, and the Mirjik symbol on his forehead Ooh, is just like glowing yeah, a dark yeah, yeah. red, and his eyes are glowing red too. And he says, "Listen here, Rainer Johnson. I've been very generous. I might have fucked myself up real hard to do something for you. I have told you, your town." Might get screwed up royally if you don't do some interesting ass shit. Alright? So I'm gonna give you a choice. I know that you hate those, but honestly, it's what we got right now. We're gonna wrap this all up, you're gonna go back to your gorp ball, and you're gonna, you're gonna do something. Or, I'm gonna let you make two choices. Your second choice is either A, you'll have no reason to go back to Goldon, or B, an old enemy will show up. You just pick that one, and they'll send you on your way. Because maybe what you do might not be interesting enough. And so, the big guy is going to pick one of those. The least I can do is let you choose. I'm still really mad, but I, I didn't... You, there were like three choices. Choice number one, you do something interesting or something bad happens. Choice number two, which bad thing do you want to happen? I'm going to need you to decide.